Hey everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm so glad to be back to crafting. I had a fantastic uh, cruise a couple weeks ago and now I'm back in my craft room making pretty things. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to use this beautiful stencil, Geometric Stars from My Favorite Things. I absolutely love this stencil. Um, this is from the June 2018 release and is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm using some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I'm also going to grab a couple pieces of my micropore tape. I just want to make sure that the stencil stays in place without it shifting around. Now I made a, a couple sample cards with this already and I have to say this is probably going to be a stencil that I'm going to reach for a lot, a lot because it just makes such gorgeous backgrounds. You guys know I love, love, love making backgrounds for cards. So now since I have all of that tape together, I'm going to grab myself some Distress Oxide inks. So we're going to use um, picked, nope, Peacock Feathers and Cracked Pistachio. And I'm just going to start by laying down some of the Peacock Feathers first. I'm just going to bring it in on just each one of the corners. I'm not really worrying right now if it's blended perfectly or not because I'm going to be able to blend that out a little bit later. Next, I'm going to come in with that Cracked Pistachio. And I love this color combination. The blue and the green just work so well together. Now, even though this is a geometric star background, it does not need, um, need to be in any certain color. You could do these in yellows, you can do them in pink, you can emboss with this. You can also use glitter paste, totally up to you. But I really love this um, blue and green color combination. So now since I have down most of the cracked pistachio where I want it, I'm gonna go back in and just darken up and blend out that peacock feathers. I'm just going to add a little bit more and then go back in one last time and truly make sure I have everything blended out the way I want it. So I really like how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and close up my Distress inks. And now I want to spritz some shimmer on this because you guys know me. I like to have a little bit of shimmer in my life. I'm just going to spritz that down. I'm not going heavy handed with this because this is not watercolor paper. So I'm just doing a very, very light spray. And now I can peel off that stencil. Look how beautiful this stencil is. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love this stencil. So now I'm going to go ahead and set that aside to dry while I start working on the rest of the card. Now I'm going to use this Martini Time stamp set from My Favorite Things. I absolutely love this stamp set. I'm a huge martini person. Uh, vodka martinis that it's extra dirty with a few extra olives. So I thought this would be a great um, way to use this stamp set. And also I'm going to be giving this card to my husband because um, we just came off of our cruise and we were drinking a lot of martinis and mojitos. So I thought this would be a perfect card to give him. So I have my Misty here and I'm just going to line up just one of those stamps for now. And I want to heat emboss this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down and let my Misty Lit pick it up. And then I'm going to grab my Juicy Ink Pad from Ink on 3. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that up. Now what's so great about this um, stamp set, what I love, is just the martini glasses have different sayings in them. Like one says martini and then one says lemon drop. One says Chocolatini. It's just such, and I love the fonts on this. It looks very, very retro to me. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out this martini glass just twice. Since I already have it out, I might as well go ahead and stamp it one more time. And I can have my cute little martini glass ready for a little bit later. So now since that's stamped, I'm going to use some gold embossing powder with this. You guys know my favorite embossing powder happens to be this Princess Gold from Ranger. And I'm just going to open up my jar 
Now, at this point, I realized I don't even have a piece of scrap paper on my desk, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go for it. And if I lose a little bit of this, uh, I'm just going to have to live with it. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on and fold my cardstock the best that I can to get the rest of that embossing powder back in. So I'm going to do that one there. And then I just want to make sure I have full coverage on this before I move over to my next martini glass. That looks pretty good. And now I'll go ahead and sprinkle this on the rest. Now you can stamp this in gold. Um, you can stamp it in black. But I really want to add just a little bit of um, embossing to my card. So as you can see, those martini glasses look so cute. I absolutely love the way these glasses are. So I'm just going to dump the rest of that in there, make sure I don't make too much of a mess. And I'm going to tap up any extra. And now I'm going to grab my heat gun. Now my heat gun is really, really hot at this point. I had it actually off to the side heating up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure I heat the back of my paper as well as the front just to um, have it not warp as much. So now since I have that nice and done, look how pretty those martini glasses are. Just embossed in this simple gold design. Now since I have that done, I'm also going to fussy cut this out. Now I did not purchase the dies with this because I believe like the image is so easy to fussy cut that I don't have to have the dies for this. So I'm just using um, my scissors here. And these are like spring loaded, so it really helps me um, be able to really get into and really close to the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to cut this out. I'm not going to bore you with how long it took me to cut this out. And now we're going to go ahead and start putting the card together. Now I like that gold there, but I also want to add some gold to the background. So I'm going to use my fine tech um, watercolor here, and I'm just going to spritz down some water on top of the lid to reactivate what I had on the lid as well as in that one color of gold and I'm just going to start tapping this down just with my paintbrush in just random order I'm not trying to be perfect here I just want a little bit of this gold on my background so I'm just lightly tapping and I'm getting just a nice um, arrangement or spray of some of that pretty gold and I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to bring that up to the camera so you can see. And I just have some really nice gold splatter on here. Now since that's done, we're going to go ahead and die cut this out. Now this is just a stitch rectangle die um, from My Favorite Things. And I'm just going to run this through my Gemini machine. Now since I have that cut out, I do want to add a sentiment to this. But I want to put it in black so I have a nice pop of that black on my card. So I'm going to grab my embossing buddy and I've already taken one of the sentiments and placed it onto my misty lid already. And again, I'm going to come in with that juicy ink from ink on three and I'm going to stamp this down. Now I could have added this sentiment directly onto the card panel, but I really don't want this to get lost. And I, like I said, I want to have that nice pop of black. To me, um, black is a very grounding color as well as like grays and browns. So I just think sometimes when you just add a strip of black to something, it really makes your card look um, beautiful. I'm going to use white embossing powder for my sentiment instead of the gold. I just really want the gold to be focused on my martini glass. And like I said, those white, I mean those gold little splatters on the back. So this sentiment I absolutely love. It says, you're the vodka to my martini. And I'm always telling my husband that, you know, when I um, drink, I don't necessarily want to be floored by the taste of my vodka, but I want it to like lovingly kiss me. <laughs> so I thought that this would be perfect way to give him this card by having this sentiment on there. So I'm just heating it up with a very hot heat gun again and then look how cute that sentiment is now obviously I need to trim this down so I'm just gonna grab my Fiskars cutter my paper trimmer and I'm just going to trim this off so I just have like a nice little black 
strip for my sentiment. I'm going to turn that sideways and then I can go ahead and cut down the other side. Now I could have used the die for this, but I'm just getting back in my room and it's kind of a mess right now. So I'm using what I just have on my desk. Now I can bring in the rest of my card and look how pretty that is. I really, really love that black on there. Now you guys know for my card bases, I normally use Nina 110 pound cardstock. So that's what I have here. I went ahead and scored it off to the side and now I'm just going to use my Teflon bone folder to make sure I have a good crease on my card. Now, after I did this, I felt the need to add just a little bit more black. So I'm gonna grab just a strip of black cardstock just to place down the side of my card. Just so I have something on the background to pull forward on that black sentiment. So I think that looks really, really nice. Just a little hint right behind that um, design because I just didn't, I felt like the design was getting a little bit too lost. So now I can go ahead and symbol my card. I'm using my large, and I always use this in most of my videos, my ATG runner. And I'm just going to place down that black strip just right on the side. And now I'm going to go ahead and place down my next panel. I'm going to be making a ton of cards with this stencil. When I really find a stencil I like, it, it like gives me like goosebumps and I get all happily and giggly. And this here is one of those stencils. Absolutely one of those stencils. Now for my sentiment and for my martini cup, I want them to pop up. So I'm going to grab my 3M foam tape and I'm just going to cut off a little piece of this and then I'm also going to cut it down the center. And this is just going to, one, help me preserve some of my tape because I use a lot of this tape, a lot. This is like my go-to um, tape for any time I wanna pop up a sentiment or even when I'm making shaker cards. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and place that down on the back of my sentiment strip. And this card, you guys, is almost done. So I'm just gonna place that down. I'm just gonna make sure I leave myself enough room so my martini glass doesn't go too high up on my card. And now I'm gonna use that same exact foam tape to go ahead and do the back of that um, martini glass and get that popped up. Now the martini glass, the stem part is a little bit thinner. So I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors again and just cut straight down the middle. So you can see how much um, uses that you can get out of this roll of tape. If you just um, slice it down the center and just keep slicing it again and you'll really get some use out of that tape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that down and tear off a little bit of the extra. And now I can go ahead and pop down my martini glass. This was like the perfect stencil and perfect stamp set to get me back into making my videos since this cruise. So now I can go ahead and pop that down right above my sentiment. Now you guys know I can't be done right here. I need to add just a few sequins, not many. So I just grabbed some gold and I'm just gonna randomly place them down. I'm not gonna get too over handy with this. I'm just going to grab my multi matte medium and I'm going to use my pickup stick and just pop a few of these in place. Now you guys know me, I like to have odd numbers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of these down around the martini glass. And then I'll also add two, one at the top and the bottom of my gold strip. And there we have it. Look, I oh my God, you guys, I love this card. And I think my husband is absolutely going to love it. It's nice and simple and it's great for a masculine card too. All right, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to hit that bell so you know when I'm coming back. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.